Apple Pay, Apple's new mobile payment system, is up and running. What do you need to know about it, and how does it stack up to competitors? Our experts from the Money and Electronics teams here at Consumer Reports hit the streets to give it a try. First, what is Apple Pay? It's Apple's entrance into the growing field of mobile wallets, systems that let you pay for purchases at the cash register using just your smartphone. Apple Pay currently works with an iPhone 6, 6 Plus, and eventually with the Apple Watch at more than 200,000 participating stores such as McDonald's, Whole Foods, Macy's, Sports Authority, and Office Depot. By our count, that's less than 2% of the 12 to 15 million merchants that accept plastic. Which means, don't plan on throwing away your credit cards anytime soon. So, how does Apple Pay work? To set it up using an iPhone 6, you either take a picture of your credit card or enter the information manually. Then, at a participating store, you hold the phone near a compatible card reader and confirm payment with your fingerprint on the phone. Our electronics editor, Glenn Doreen, hit the streets today to see how it worked. We tried Apple Pay using our iPhone 6 at two locations near our Yonkers headquarters, both a Walgreens right behind me and a McDonald's down the road. We bought everything from a bottle of water to a four-piece chicken McNuggets, and all the transactions went through relatively seamlessly. Now, Apple Pay isn't available at all retail locations just yet, but it's got some powerful backers. Three of the major credit card issuers, MasterCard, Visa, and American Express, and several major banks are all behind the technology. There are other mobile wallets out there, so how is Apple Pay different? In some ways, it's not. It uses the same near-field communication, or NFC, technology that's used in two well-known mobile wallets out there, Google Wallet and SoftCard, which store your encrypted credit card number and info either on a server or on the phone. One big difference between Apple and the others, Apple says it doesn't store your account information anywhere. So, does that mean it's safe? We know credit card security is a serious concern for consumers. There have been lots of recent high-profile hacking incidents at major retailers such as Target and Home Depot. Fraud experts we've spoken to say mobile pay technology may be a more secure option than physical credit cards. As for Apple Pay, here at Consumer Reports, we like the fact that your card information isn't stored on your phone. Instead, Apple Pay creates dummy account numbers for each transaction. If a hacker gets to it, that number is useless. Also, no one ever gets a look at your name, your real card number, or card security code. What's the bottom line? So far, mobile wallets have been slow to take off, but two points to keep in mind. By the end of 2015, merchants are supposed to update their card readers to accept cards that have chips in them. Those readers can also be made compatible with NFC. That transition, along with Apple joining the fray, could be the kickstart to get retailers and shoppers on board.